Well, power is back on for many people in western North Carolina now that the worst of the weather has moved through. News 13's Justin Hinton spent some time out in the middle of the storm today. He's streaming live in Asheville. Justin, folks have got to be glad. Absolutely. I'm looking at the Duke power maps right now, and, and I can see that it looks a lot better than it did earlier today. Fewer outages, which is a good thing for families out on this cold night. It looks like it might be a long, hard winter, but uh, can't beat it. I like, I like it. <laughs> Halloween may be long gone, but the wintry weather it left behind made its presence known overnight Friday and into Saturday. It does seem a little bit early, but hey, we are in the mountains. For Rob Shook, that means a little extra time with family, welcoming the snow with his camera-shy daughter. Oh, she's, she's gone. <laughs> she's up the hill. Not gone, the weather itself, as darkened Asheville roads and a backed-up highway in Haywood County left drivers and residents in the dark as to what might happen in the coming hours. The power did go off earlier this afternoon, came back, uh, went off again, but it seems to be uh, back now. Lighting up the Beaver Dam Road neighborhood in Asheville once again. We lived out here for about three years now, and uh, we know that if a storm is coming, it's uh, likely that the power could go out. I mean, these lines run all the way down Beaver Dam Road, a lot of trees, so it's, uh, it happens quite a bit, but... Uh, Nothing we can't deal with. Dealing with the weather for several years, a little earlier than normal this time, but welcomed just the same. It's been all right. We, we like the snow. <laughs> well, Shook says to pass the time when the power was out, the, his family took naps. They got underneath the blanket and, and just spent some time with each other. Of course, a little bit later, they woke up and went outside and played in the snow. Building what? Snowmen. Reporting live in Asheville tonight, Justin Hinton, News 13.